All right. This is day two total. Um, it's the 4th of November and it is 8 a.m. So I got to bed probably about 1 in the morning. I got up at about 5.45 because the sun was up. So here we are in beautiful Manaus, Brazil. <clears throat> and uh, I just had some breakfast and I figured I'm gonna go walk it off. So we're in the inner city of Manaus and I think it's, uh, it's about 15 minutes from the airport to here and then um, about 15 minutes from here to the river where we'll get on the boat. Um, and then we're gonna travel 10 hours up the Rio Negro, Black River. So if you go east, um, if you go east, you'll be going down the Amazon. When you go west, you're going up the Rio Negro. So that's what we'll be going on today. I understand two is one, one is none. Use a buddy system. Not today. So here's that church I was just sitting in front of. Kind of a neat, neat church. So anyway, yesterday was a kind of a catastrophe. We all made it. So we flew out of Springfield yesterday morning. Um, flight left at like, I forgot, six something, whatever. But we ended up sitting on the runway in Springfield for about 30 minutes because the airport was full in Dallas. So when we landed in Dallas, we had about 20 minutes to get from one flight to the next. Well, there's 10 of us on the flight. Seven of those 10 did the courtesy check at the gate, their bags, and three of us did not. Three of us that did not got on the flight, headed to Miami. The seven that did missed their flight to Miami, had to catch a flight to had to catch a flight to Tampa and then Miami. They did a lot of running, but we all made it last night. Uh, so here we are, man, I'm super pumped. Day, day one, really. Yesterday was a travel day. So I'm excited to get going and get on the river and start this adventure. So, all right. So let's just check the forecast. There's a chance of rain every day. Imagine that, Amazon rainforest. And, uh, Except for Thursday. It's only a 25% chance around on Thursday. So I might get lucky. Uh, I went and walked around the town. It's 9.20 in the morning. An alarm or something going off. Um, there's a view out my window. Beautiful tower. So, anyway, uh, just kind of standing by, waiting to go down to the boat. So, not a lot to report on. It was a nice walk. Um, the city is not much different than I expected than any other city. So, uh, hotel room, pretty normal. No, the toilets do not flush backwards, counterclockwise. So. Anyway, that's it. All right, so, we've got about 20 minutes before we leave. Go down the river, get on the boat. So I snuck my way out here to the roof of the hotel. And uh, it's a pretty killer view. No railing. So I better watch my step. But this is pretty freaking awesome out here. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, snap. Secret swimming pool. Hiding it up here for the cool kids. But off in the distance, that's the Amazon River. And the Rio Negro is going to run that way. So and that's where we're going up the Neo, ne Rio Negro Black River. So pretty stoked. Uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So this is Manas, Brazil.
Holy mackerel, man. I think I'm 20 stories up. Good vantage point. There's uh, benefits to breaking rules. All right, All right so here we are. There's the river. We got the storm coming in. Here's our boat. Gonna be living on. I don't know what's going on here. Look at that narrow looking boat. That's a wave cutter. Elas Turismo. Alright, all right, so we're still in the harbor here. Waiting to go. That's Manas. We got six guys in our little room. It's pretty killer. Oh, looks like we're shoving off. Betsy? Oh, so I remember who I am? When I get the cooties? So this, this is a kitchen. Nice. There's a galley. the Titanic thing once I can find somebody to hold me. <laughs> this is so much fun. We're still in the city. That's still Manaus. Over there. Uh, I'm anxious to get up in Indian, Indian country. This is a cool bridge. Good times. All right, so we are putting along because the water, the river's down, and uh, 
we're having a, I guess we got kind of stuck in the mud already once. So. Yeah, we've got quite a ways left to go. But anyway, the shores, sand, like beach. Pretty cool. So apparently, here we are. So this, the river's so low we can't get our boat up river. Um, so this is an alternate site, and I think this is where we're going to do it. So we'll put, there's some houses, 60 houses or whatever up here. Oh, well, not houses, huts. And then um, put in the water filters and then build a church here. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. But uh, the long boat ride may have just gotten cut in half, which is fine with me. So it's a 10 hour boat ride or the, the five hours. I think, yeah, it's been about five hours. It's 5.15 and we left at 12.15. So here we are apparently. All right, right there. done for the day <clears throat> and uh, anchored out here in the middle of this not cove but body of water and we couldn't really go any further we we're supposed to we've only gone 35 miles and our original destination was just out of 100 miles but the river's down so much that we this is an alternate site that they had planned out to come to so since we were passing it we stopped here and they decided to go ahead and anchor up here and this is where we're going to do the work so it uh it's pretty killer out here i know you can't see me i'm not even sure you can hear the animals or the bugs and frogs it's pretty killer so anyway this is where we are all right